Hey guys, how's it going? Brandon here. Today we'll be learning how to play Departure by Max Richter, which is one of the theme songs for HBO's The Leftovers. This beginner-friendly version is in standard tuning and uses a capo on the third fret. I also want to mention that this is a fingerstyle song, so we'll be playing it without a guitar pick. Alright, let's take a closer look. We'll start by forming an A minor chord with our left hand. Once our chord is in place, we can focus on our picking hand. I'm going to be using my thumb to play the G, my index to play the B, and my middle finger to play the high E string. The picking pattern is pretty simple. It's going to be thumb, index, middle, index. When we repeat that sequence four times, it should sound like this. After that, we'll use our left hand to form a D minor chord and apply the same right hand picking pattern. Thumb, index, middle, index. And just like in the last section, we repeat this pattern four times. This next section is a little bit tricky. We'll make an A minor shape with our left hand and slide it up two frets so that our index is on fret 3 and our ring finger is on fret 4. The picking pattern is the same as before. Thumb, index, middle, index. But this time, we'll be using our thumb to play the A string, our index to play the G, and our middle finger to play the B. Once again, the pattern is repeated four times and should sound like this. We then slide down two frets to make a proper A minor chord, and with our picking hand, we play the G, B, and E strings with our thumb, index, and middle finger. We'll use the same pattern as before and play it four times. The next section is really easy and sounds like this. We'll leave our index finger on the B string of the first fret and apply the same picking pattern with our right hand. After playing the pattern twice, We then play the remaining six notes with our left finger on the G. When we combine everything that we've learned so far, it should sound like this. The next half of the song is what I consider to be the fast part. We'll start by making an A minor shape with our left hand, and then just like in the previous sections, we'll be using our right thumb to play the G, index to play the B, and middle finger to play the high E. Though this time, the picking pattern will be slightly different. We'll start with our thumb, and then quickly alternate between our index and middle fingers for a total of seven notes. The good news is that we'll be using this picking pattern for the remainder of the song, so once you get the hang of it, the rest is easy. Here's what it should sound like with proper timing. After that, we form an F chord with our left hand and apply the same picking pattern. What I like to do is actually take off my middle finger and make a mini bar of the two thinnest strings with my index and leave my ring finger in place. All right, let's give it a try. The next step is to hold down the B string with our left index and leave the other strings open. Here's what that sounds like when we apply the same picking pattern. 
And for the final section, we hold down the G, leave the other strings open, and apply the same right hand picking pattern. This is what the fast part should sound like when we combine each section. Alright, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. If you'd like to support this channel, please consider visiting my Patreon page. As a way of saying thanks, patrons will receive exclusive access to PDF files of all past, present, and future tabs as well as detailed lesson instructions for each and every tutorial. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to post them down below. Remember to keep on practicing, and I'll see you guys next time.